Yo guys, welcome to our channel. The channel is Nazvin. And kindly if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe. If you are experiencing difficulty with directions, it can be frustrating. But it's important to approach the situation uh, with care. And there are several potential uh, causes ranging from temporary issues like stress or fatigue or more important uh, factors like physical and also mental health conditions. If your pain doesn't stand, do this. <laughs> for today the channel is Nazvin kindly if you have not subscribed I want to encourage you to subscribe because in Nazvin network this is where we get to discuss matters is sensitive such as this one and here we get to understand how important these issues are in, with our lives and how they affect us indirectly or directly so things like uh, managing stress and anxiety Things like exercise, healthy diet, and also they are very important in managing uh, how we deal with these uh, kind of issues. What can be the causes, uh, what you call erectile dysfunction or ED, or difficulty in achieving or maintaining an erection is very pertinent where we can have a variety of causes and this can be either they can be physical they can be psychological or a combination of both and uh, I'm going to call, break down the most common causes number one is a physical causes there are several often related to uh, con conditions related to blood flow now function and also hormonal levels number one on these uh, physical causes we talk about cardiovascular issues and when we talk about cardiovascular issues like uh, what you call heart disease high blood pressure and also high cholesterol they can damage blood vessels and reducing the blood flow to the penis hormonal imbalances low levels of testosterone or the hormonal imbalances which is the thyroid issues uh, can lead to ED conditions like what you call hypogonadism or pituitary disorders may also can be the factors also affecting this on also neurological factors, we have things like what you call multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, and spinal cord injuries can affect the nervous system and impair how signals and also are, affect, are relayed. And this affects on how the body generally responds to erection. Obesity, being overweight or obese can increase the risk for conditions like diabetes, hypertension and low testosterone. This can also contribute to erectile dysfunction at the end of the day. Medication side effects. Some medications are associated with the erectile dysfunction. Certain medications such as what you call antidepressants, antihypertensives. These are drugs for hypertension or high blood pressure. And others can interfere with the sexual function. Always check with your doctor if you suspect your medication. It might be the culprit. So when you are started on medication, if you realize that there is that change in your sexual function as a man or your, your partner, so it is very important to get to check with your uh, doctor over the same. Substance abuse, especially with alcohol and also nicotine, like uh, also recreational drugs, can reduce the uh, uh, blood flow or alter the nerve function at the end of the day. And this can really lead to electrical uh, problems. Sleep apnea. This is a sleep disorder linked to oxygen, uh, uh, poorly or poor oxygen levels during sleep. It, this has been associated also with the erectile dysfunction, potentially due to disruption of the hormones, and also and also it affects the how they balance. So uh, sleep apnea, where which is a disorder which is linked to poor oxygen during sleep. Is associated with electrical dysfunction, potentially due to disruption of hormone, hormone hormones leading to hormonal imbalance. Also, from the physical part of it, for the physical, uh, when we talk about the physical side effects or co physical causes, we've talked about cardiovascular issues, hypertension, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, type one and type two. They can cause what you call neuropathy and hypercirculation. 
both of which uh, reduce the blood flow. There are also hormonal imbalance. Low levels of testosterone or hormonal imbalances can cause that one. Also neurological disorders, especially multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease and spinal cord injuries. Uh, they affect the nerve, uh, the nerve system and they bear signals necessary for direction, obesity, medication side effects, substance abuse like alcohol and also recreational drugs and plus nicotine, sleep apnea, that the physical causes. We go to sec number two is about psychological causes. We, when we talk about psychological causes, we're talking about mental health, uh, which is, plays a very great role in so your sexual function. Emotional psychological factors can interfere uh, with the lecture function. And even if physical health is otherwise normal, the mental part of it, if it's affected, it can lead to a lot of issues at the end of the day. So it's very key that psychological causes are also addressed. Things like stress and anxiety, worrying about sexual performance, work stress, or general life pressures can trigger anxiety, which can reduce sexual desire and may make it very hard to maintain an erection. Also depression, can also, depressions uh, can lower libido and affect physical function, including erectile ability. Certain antidepressants uh, also can also cause to, uh, the one to fail to have that erection. Relationship issues like tension, poor communication, and resolved conflicts, or lack of emotional intimacy can also be one of the causes of these sexual difficulties. Sexual trauma where past experiences of uh, especially rape, like sexual abuse or trauma, uh, can have long-term psychological, uh, uh, psychological effects that can manifest later in life and cause electrical difficulties. Performance anxiety, fear of not uh, able to, perf to perform sexually can create a lot of issues, like anxiety, making it very hard to maintain an erection when one is uh, intimate at the end of the day. Also, number three is about lifestyle factors, especially your daily habits and overall lifestyle changes can significantly influence the erectile function. So sedentary lifestyle, lack of exercise especially, and physical activity can lead to poor circulation, reduced energy levels, and also higher risk of uh, things like obesity and diabetes, of which can contribute to erectile dysfunction. Poor diet. Uh, a diet highly with high content of processed foods, uh, unhealthy fats and sugars can affect cardiovascular health and also hormonal levels leading to the sexual difficulties at the end of the day. Poor diet, high diet in processed foods and healthy fats and also sugars uh, can affect also these hormonal levels. Excessive alcohol consumption, while moderate alcohol use may not be that problematic, Excessive use of uh, drinking of alcohol can impair our system function and also interfere with that also and also erection at the end of the day. Smoking, nicotine restricts blood flow and can damage blood vessels over time, making it more difficult to for the penis to erect at the end of the day. Number four, uh, one of the considerations which you give is the age-related changes as men age, changes occur in the body, especially the hormonal levels change circulation and nervous function can naturally contribute to electrical difficulties. So as we age, our body changes, of course, especially from hormonal to circulation and also the nerve function. So uh, while it is more common in older men, it is not an inevitable part of our aging. And many older men, uh, men continue to have a healthy sexual function with the right lifestyle and also care. So it's very, if it's very important as you age, you also get to monitor your health very much, like you go for checkups, you get in the right treatment and also get the right diagnosis because of those changes in our bodies. The serum levels uh, typically decline with age. The serum is a sexual hormone. So when the lower, they, they go low of this hormone, can contribute to reduce libido and also difficulty in getting or maintaining an erection at the end of the day. Also, we have things like chronic uh, uh, kidney disease, liver disease, uh, what you call COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, prostate problems or uh, surgery, especially surgery to treat uh, ca prostate cancer or enlarged prostate can affect the erectile function due to the damage of the uh, nerves or blood vessels at that particular time if uh, not well done. 
medically induced erectile dysfunction sometimes uh, ed or erectile dysfunction or lack of erection can be uh, due to medical treatment or procedures including prostate surgery surgery of the prostate cancer or enlarged prostate can damage sometimes the nerves and also can harm erectile function can uh, can harm the erectile function of the of, of the man so it's very key that this was also considered in chemotherapy some drugs which are used in testosterone in, in, in uh, chemotherapy can reduce the testosterone levels and affect the sexual function of that particular person at the end of the day psychological factors also certain environmental or social factors can increase the likelihood of experiencing the uh, erectile uh, dysfunction this can include the cultural expectation and the pressure at the end of the day society of an, uh, have unreali unrealistic expectations for male sexual performance which can lead to the feelings of inadequacy or stress that stress that can affect the sexual function at the end of the day so if you ex experience persistent difficulties in achieving that erection it is important to consult the healthcare provider to determine and uh, uh, and lying cause treatment may, may be a combination of changes therapy and also medication or other interventions especially the lifestyle changes uh, for your specific uh, uh, situation erectile like dysfunction is often treatable and with the right approach men may regain their sexual health and also uh, confidence so clap for yourself this is reversible if well approached at the end of the day so if you are experiencing this kind of uh, problems the management part of it, especially the lifestyle changes. Making health changes in your daily life, men, can significantly improve your erectile function and overall well-being, especially exercise regularly, physical activity improves the blood flow, increases energy, and also reduces the stress at the end of the day and boosts the overall uh, health. Cardiovascular exercise like walking, running, cycling can enhance circulation and improve the erectile function. Strength training and pelvic floor exercises like Kegel exercise can really help. Maintain healthy weight. Being overweight or obese increases the risk of diabetes, hypertension and low testosterone, of which can contribute to erectile dysfunction or the ED. A balanced diet is really advocated for and also regular exercise which can help manage the weight and improve the sexual uh, health. Eating healthy diet is very key. A healthy diet, e.g. what you call Mediterranean diet, can if you've not heard about Mediterranean diet, I did a video over that. You can watch our previous video about the Mediterranean diet, which includes, in simple words, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and also healthy fats support the blood circulation and hormonal balance. Foods like uh, leafy greens, tomato, tomatoes, berries, and fish, especially which fish is rich in omega-3s, three, uh, omega which are very good for vascular health. They improve uh, the health of our, our uh, circulatory system, the omega-3, so that's very key. Quit smoking if you are a smoker. Smoking because it damages the blood vessels and reduces blood flow to the penis. Quitting smoking is one of the most effective ways uh, to improve erectile function at the end of the day, guys. So limit alcohol consumption also. While moderate alcohol may, may not have a significant impact, Excessive drinking can impair function and blood flow and make it too difficult to achieve that uh, uh, erection at the end of the day. Good and enough sleep. Also get enough sleep guys. 7 to 9 hours of quality uh, sleep per night. Poor sleep is linked to reduced testosterone levels and increased stress, both of which can contribute to the erectile dysfunction. Psychological and emotional support is very key. If you have a psychological factors like stress, anxiety, depression, or relationship issues, it's very key that you get uh, uh, to know that they, they contribute to your erectile dysfunction. So addressing this therapy can be very key. Uh, addressing this is very key through cognitive behavioral therapy, what you call CBT, which help address the negative thoughts and anxiety around sexual performance. So it's especially used for managing anxiety performance stress or relationship issues. Couples therapy, if your relationship dynamics are contributing to your electoral dysfunction, communication issues and also emotional intimacy, couple, couples in counseling with therapists can solve uh, the conflicts and also the sexual uh, relationships. Stress management techniques, practices like mindfulness, yoga, meditation, deep breathing exercises, 
can overall uh, uh, improve the well-being which help uh, the electro dysfunction sex therapy sex therapists uh, specialize and address sexual dysfunctions and can work with you or the couples to improve their sexual performance and satisfaction address the psychological barriers or to related to arousal and also erection at the end of the day. Medical treatments is also another uh, approach which is used. Well, lifestyle changes or psychological approaches alone aren't enough. There are several medical uh, treatments available. Number one is oral medication. The most common and widely used medication for electric dysfunctions are phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitors, what you call PDE5 inhibitors. This medication helps increase blood flow to the penis and also make it easier to achieve and maintain an erection, erection at the end of the day. And some of the common options include Sildenafil or Viagra, Tredenafil, what you call Cialis, Vadalafil, uh, what you call Levetra, Avanavil, what you call Stendra. So these drugs are taken about uh, 30, minutes, 30 to 60 minutes uh, before sexual activity and it can last for from uh, a few hours to up to 36 hours uh, especially the Cialis takes up to 36 hours depending on the drug. Hormonal therapy is also another one where if ED is caused by low testosterone hormone replacement therapy what you call HRT may be prescribed. This involves testosterone injections patches or gels. Penile injections Penile injections is also another way where we call uh, a drug like aliprodadil is a medication which is, is injected directly on the pen, into the penis to promote the erection. This is often used when oral medications aren't effective or they are contraindicated at the end of the day. Penile suppositories where we have uh, uh, what you call uh, aliprodadil can be administered in form of a small suppository inserted in the urethra. It works by increase the blood flow to the penis simply. Vacuum erection devices, what you call VED, they are mechanical pumps that draw blood into the penis, creating the erection. These uh, are typically used in cases where treatment have failed or, or as a, an adjunct to other therapies. Penile implants also can be used, where for more severe cases of ED that don't respond to treatments, so surgically implanted devices can be used. The implants can be either inflatable or semi-rigid rods and the, for the, they promote the for natural erection. Treating underlying conditions is also very key, like if you are hypertensive, if you are uh, diabetic, uh, it's very key that you manage your diabetes very well. Keeping blood sugars level under control can prevent nerve and also blood vessel damage that can put to electric dysfunction. A healthy diet, regular exercise and a proper medication can also help uh, uh, diabetes. Control high blood pressure. Hypertension can damage blood vessels, that's very clear, affecting the blood flow to the penis. Lifestyle changes, each diet, exercise, and also medication can control the blood pressure and reduce the risk of ED. Treat high cholesterol, so lowering the blood cholesterol using the statins, especially the medi medication for the cholesterol, and dietary changes can help the risk, the, 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 the help to lower the risk for ED or erectile dysfunction. Correct sleep apnea. Uh, sleep apnea can negatively affect the, the erectile, dysfunction, uh, erectile function. So by reducing oxygen during sleep, leading to disruptions and levels of cardiac, bring a lot of issues with cardiovascular health. So treating uh, sleep apnea with CPAP therapy can improve erectile function in many cases. Alternative therapies, some men may explore alternative uh, to manage the ED. So, but it's very important to get to consult your medical doctor first before you go for these other options. We have herbal supplements like what you call uh, liaginine, your what you call your himbenine, are sometimes used to improve the erectile function. I have evidence supporting their, uh, their the, this evidence is uh, mixed, so they are in, you may need to interact with the other medications. So it's important to discuss with the healthcare provider if you are going to. Yeah, the L arginine, so especially the herbal uh, supportive treatment. Acupuncture, some studies suggest that the acupuncture can help alleviate this ED, particularly when it is related to stress and also anxiety, though more research is needed in this area. Psychological support, counseling or support, 
uh, groups can help men cope with this emotional and psychological impact of the EED, particularly if it's causing difficulties or uh, feelings of inadequacy. So while EED becomes more common with age, so preventing this, is, uh, especially through maintaining health lifestyle, monitor the health, manage your stress very well, so that you don't get into a lot of problems over the same. So sometimes we have complications related to EED, psychological and emotional impact. So we have anxiety, we have depression, low self-esteem, reduced strain. Also we have dissatisfaction in the intimacy, uh, decreased libido. Also we have communication breakdown, emotional distance, sexual incompatibility. And also we have uh, so something like physical uh, uh, complications which are related to, especially to cardiovascular disease. So especially where we have poor circulation, diabetes and damage, uh, diabetes uh, and also nerve damage can also be one of the complications of the ED. Low, de low, low testosterone, when testosterone levels decline with age, we have a lot of issues with uh, uh, ED and other issues with the low libido, fatigue and also muscle loss. Impact of quality of life also very key, where reduced life satisfaction, social withdrawal and decreased motivation comes in uh, comes in so side effects of medications can really be monitored because things like stenanafil can cause what you call what you call reapism reapism means a painful prolonged election that requires immediate medical intervention invasive treatments uh, like penal implants also carry risk for infection scarring and also device malfunction Psychological effects of treatments, sometimes men may feel anxious about using certain treatments and also uh, they are worried about the sexual performance or fear being charged by their partners. Psychological support is often needed alongside the medical treatment to ensure that ED is managed in a healthy way. This also of infertility is also, ED does not necessarily affect fertility directly, but it can interfere with the ability to engage in intercourse or reproductive viable sperm during the erection. In case the ED uh, is combined with low sperm count or other fertility issues, it may contribute to difficulty in conceiving. Chronic or long-term health impact as a side effect also. Untreated ED can lead to chronic pattern of sexual dysfunction. In some cases, it might uh, signal some serious underlying condition, for instance, decreased sexual function over time. If ED is uh, not addressed, it may become more persistent or severe with time. Especially if lifestyle factors like poor diet, lack of exercise, or medical conditions, e.g. diabetes and also hypertension or heart diseases are not managed uh, very well. Impact on relationship longevity. In some relationships, unsolved ED may lead to dissatisfaction or break the relationship breakdown and also which can increase the emotional and social strain in both partners. While ED may be a source of frustration, embarrassment, it's important to recognize that it is important often at a very treatable condition. Seeking medical advice and treatment can prevent many of the complications associated with the electrolyte dysfunction. So improve relationships, significantly enhance overall quality of life through addressing those complications. If you or someone you know is struggling with ED or electrolyte dysfunction or lack of erection at the end of the day, to put it very simple, it is worth reaching out to healthcare professionals. Advice that, advice that you get to reach the healthcare professional to explore the variety of uh, treatments which I have mentioned, uh, options which are available and which are adapted to your need that may best suit your your needs. Guys, welcome. The channel is Nasvin. This way we get to talk matter sensitive such as this, especially uh, matter sex, which really affects our life lives in a very big way. Guys, welcome, and also I want to welcome you to our next video. Can you, if you are not, not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Can you give us a nice comment uh, uh, down below, and also I want to welcome you to our next video. Peace, guys, and welcome.